water, water everywhere. And more than 290 billion liters of it available to drink or water or wash. 290 billion liters from three reservoirs in the Capilano, Seymour, and Coquitlam watersheds. At the beginning of June, they were all full. You know, we are very fortunate in the fact that we have our protected watersheds and, and we're able to, you know, collect that snow and, and rainwater and, uh, you know, have it uh, stored in the, you know, high up in the North Shore Mountains and then it flows by gravity. I think we have some advantages in, in terms of having to do uh, how we treat the water and deliver it. And we never get even close to having what could be called a water shortage. So here's the question. Why, every year with all this water available, do we have to go through almost six months of watering restrictions? Six months starting May 1st. We need to make sure that the water that we have will sustain both our uses uh, domestically uh, around our houses and other businesses, etc. And uh, also that we have enough capacity for firefighting and some other vital needs within the community. Yes, uh, we can keep using more and more water and develop more and more sources, but if we can control that demand, it uh, makes the system that much more efficient overall. Even with watering restrictions, the city of Vancouver says water use in the region doubles in the summer due to lawn and garden watering. One hour of lawn watering can use as much water as 25 toilet flushes, five loads of laundry, and five dishwasher loads combined. In the summer of 2015, Metro Vancouver had a particularly dry summer. Three reservoirs experienced very low water levels due to lack of precipitation. Reservoir levels reached a water level that was below its normal range in July. Stage three water restrictions were imposed. Watering lawns, washing cars outdoors, and refilling pools were banned. But what about Metro Vancouver's future water supply? The snowpack is predicted to shrink by 56% by 2050. And by then, the region can expect a 20% decrease in rainfall during the summer months. Another 1 million people are expected to arrive in the region by 2050, and there are predictions of a water supply gap by 2030. A project is underway right now at the Coquitlam Lake Reservoir to source more water. There we have a second intake project which will allow us to tap into a significant greater volume of water. And if you look into the longer term prognosis, uh, well into uh, mid-century and beyond, around 2070 or so, then we need to look for additional supplies of uh, source water. As for the sources we have right now, they're adequate. We don't expect the region to ever ease up on watering restrictions.